Are you going on strike? Are you on strike? Because it's raining. Come on, should we go downstairs? Should we go outside? Come on then, let's herd you. Come on. No. <laughs> come on. I'm going to go downstairs. You're going to come with me. Guys, he's gone on strike and he's not, he's not wanting to come outside. Come on. And by strike, I mean poop and pee strike. You haven't been yet this morning, Bubba. Come on, look, where am I going? Good morning, everybody. So it's actually stopped raining. Rupert, it's not raining anymore. He's not gonna respond, is he? Um, what did you do? Rupert just turned around and went, no one's gonna believe you. No one's gonna believe you. If you're a dog, what would the first thing you say be? If I had a bird, if I had a bird that could talk, I would train it to say like, help. My name's John. I have a wife and two kids and I've been turned into a bird. That'd be fun. <laughs> what? Well, right, I've just put the lights on because it's dark, as in these ones. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, my stocking keeps falling down. I, whilst we wait for Rupert to decide to come downstairs, I wanna show you a couple bits that I got this morning. So I got these from Ciarte. And I really, really like the Ciate eyeshadows. I think they're really nice. So I've got the Ciate Astralites Burnt Palette and then the Astralites Jeweled Palette. And they look so pretty. And then along with it, because obviously it's like space themed, in the package were these astronaut ice cream situations. So I'm quite excited to try those. Freeze dried Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Oh my! And then I got this crazy little, well it's not little is it? This crazy Soap and Glory Bubble Act set with all this goodness in there. Oh I didn't know that there was makeup-y bits too. Oh exciting! So I got this and then I got this perfume from Elle from the perfume shop. Oh hard to do with one hand everybody. There we go. Perfectly in perfect little notebook, the perfume, and then a little makeup pouch. And as you may have noticed, I'm developing a cold. And colds are so frustrating because I've got a plethora of like permanent conditions and illnesses, which I live with, we live with. So when something else comes on, you're just like, guys, please. Uh, so I've got a bit of a cold, a bit of a bunged up nose, and my throat's really dry and sore. Um, so I keep like, got my, my sexy phlegm. Um, you know when some people are ill and they get like a really seductive voice? I don't. I just get this, this masculine like, hello. You know, this highlight though, sorry. Um, I, I know it's quite annoying when people look at themselves, but wow, I'm enjoying the highlight. And my hair, just got it in a little ponytail today. Rupert's just not gonna come down, is he? I'm gonna sit and chat. Also, how cute is this little bauble thing? I got sent that, well, Rupert got sent it. Rupert, come on! Do you want to go pee peepees? Little pug ornament from OKA. So thanks gang. So I'm seeing my parents in a little while. I know it's gonna look like I go there a lot and I do, we're such a close knit family and they only live down the road and um, it's Christmas time and we like to all, <gasps> hello. You decided to grace us with your presents. You're gonna go for pee pees or poo poos. Um, and I know it seems I'm there a lot, which I am, and they love Rupert as well. And um, you wanna see Mummy Jane, Daddy Lewis? And Rupert loves them too. Oh, I'm gonna the right stirred him now. Oh, they're not here yet, sweetheart. Oh, not yet. You wanna go outside? So yeah, I am there a lot at the moment because it's Christmas time and their house is so cozy and we just watch Christmas films. Obviously, we all have lives, so we have stuff to do. I've got lots done this morning, which I'm so pleased with. Obviously, I've got uni at the moment. I'm in a show. I've got this. I've got, there are other life situations, as I said, good and bad. It's, it's life. Things, things are good and bad. It's all about the balance. Yes. I don't know what that was about. And then this evening, I've got a meal with my Alpha group. I'm going to talk to you about Alpha in a little while, but um, let's just try and get one mission down, done at a time. Let's get this little man with an empty bladder. Hey. 
See, this is what he does when it's rainy or like damp outside. He just sits and observes things. He's just like, nope, not having that. As soon as I open the back door, he's run upstairs. And I've even got him a treat and this is the first time he's never looked at him. He's like, if I eat that, she might get me. Come on. Does anyone else's dog do this? How do you help? <laughs> Rupert, but I'm sniffling and I need a tissue and we need to go outside. Come on, what's this? What's this, lad? <laughs> oh, you. What's this? <laughs> what are you doing? You are crazy. What's this bit of fluff? No one wants that there. Come on. What's this? <laughs> Rupert, come on. You are the funniest little thing. Do you need a jumper on? Do you want your sweatshirt? You want your sweatshirt on? Come on. <coughs> I've never seen you reject food. <gasps> oh, he spat it out! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to block the stairs now. I got you now. I got you now. <laughs> oh, what are you like? We did it. I did it. We're gonna go outside now. Right, we're staying outside till he goes. Good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. Finally. You want a treat? Go sit down. You want a high five? Hi oh, so high five. Good boy. There's a good boy. Finally! Finally! Cheeky boy! Okay, so now I have got that out of the way. What's this? Oh, the little bag of gifts. Sorry the lighting's really blue, but it's it's festive. It's winter. Uh, my baby. Oh my gosh, there's a cat. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> it was just Daring. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about alpha and um, I'm just gonna get up like the actual definition because I've got my own definition of what it is but I want to make sure that I'm saying the right things so it's an alpha course and I've been on this course for about 10 weeks now tonight is the 10th and final session and they're about two and a half hours each no two hours long but you you're obviously welcome to stay and talk through things with members and uh, the vicar and such i mean maybe each alpha is different i'm not too sure but you get um, a hot dinner which is always great and you get to chat and talk with like-minded people and you watch a dvd like a video 25 minute video each session based on something to do with christianity and then you can discuss it you can ask any kind of questions you want to the alpha course is an evangelistic course which seeks to introduce the basics of the christian faith through a series of talks and discussions it's described by its organizers as an opportunity to explore the meaning of life and the kind of founder i guess or like the face of alpha is someone called nikki gumbel and he's fab i love i follow him on twitter now and he tweets really nice things and he started off not Christian, completely like, oh, Christians are so weird, their faith strange, they're odd people, that kind of thing. And whilst I've never thought that, I have questioned a lot of things that some Christians do believe in, or I've questioned things that are in the Bible. And I've questioned, obviously, obviously, like, the main things is, like, why does this happen in the world? Why does this happen? Why has this happened to me? Why did that person experience that? And that kind of thing. So I have questioned those things. So in the summer... And I have, I'm sorry Rupert, just is intermittently barking. <coughs> Rupert! <laughs> Go. Um, I'm trying to have like a discussion here. But this is good because I hopefully I won't get emotional. So in the summer, I've touched upon this a couple of times just briefly. This summer, I 
I didn't want to be here. I was really, really low. I was in a really dark place. There have been some extremely, like when sometimes my sister and I have these conversations and my sister's like, you, you have, you know, gone through so much. How are you still so positive? And I would say I'm a positive person, but in the summer I was honestly just like, I don't want to be here anymore. I've, I, I've got no purpose. I've got no, I don't know. And I had a conversation with my, my mum and I was like, you know, would it be that bad if I wasn't here? Just being completely honest with you. And then my sister's mother-in-law, she share she goes to uh, a church that my sister got married in and my immediate family my mum dad sister they're not religious i'd say my mum would class herself as a christian and we were all christened at birth and things um <clears throat> and my great aunties however are very religious and i've always resonated and connected with them on that side of things and and they I always get compared to my granny and things like that, which is always lovely. And um, anyway, so my sister's mother-in-law shared something on Facebook, being like, Alpha Course starting soon. Rupert, come here. And I just liked it. I gave it a little thumbs up for, because I, I'm the type of person, I get quite anxious to say to someone, I'd like to do this, would you come with me? So I gave it a thumbs up, a sort of a, a passive, I'm interested. And she immediately replied like, do you want to come with me? Now, like I'll go with you because obviously she, you know, doesn't need the alpha course. <laughs> I don't know what Rupert's doing. So that kind of kicked it off. And you know, long story short, since the end of August and since starting, now you can say it's a coincidence, but so many things have come my way and so many things have, changed and i'm i'm so i feel so different and i put it down to alpha having bible verses sent to me or having just having a friend i know this isn't going to be to everyone i haven't said that i should have said this at the beginning this isn't going to be to everyone's cup of tea and some people some people say don't talk about religion online um but i found comfort i found extreme comfort in some of the things that we've talked about and there was something that we went through and it was a painting and it was of Jesus like about to open a door he was knocking at the door and it's just to symbolize like he's always there waiting are you tramping you don't have to let him in but if you decide that you want to he will come in so and I really really like that because I don't think that it was I don't know, it was just completely the right time for me to have something, you know, part of Alpha is what is my meaning of life. And I just feel like it has really helped, you know, and then just a couple of the things, like obviously there are still bad, bad things and trials and tribulations and I, I feel like there's always a purpose. And, um, you know, I, I got into my uni thing, I, I, there's just so many things I'm you know in a new show I just feel so much happier I feel more that I understand I've got my purpose I've got my lovely boyfriend I've got my amazing family I've got so many people around me but I also feel feel extremely loved by by someone above so it's just it is it has been really really nice sorry this hasn't come out in like an articulate way but I just wanted to give my kind of two set on being called by my mama, my two cents on Alpha, bear with. So yeah, I, I don't know how regularly this is gonna come up or how regularly I'm gonna talk about it because I, I get it. Like, I, I'm not gonna hide the fact that, you know, I was completely like, oh, religion, oh, don't wanna hear it, oh, you know, but now I just, I just feel completely open-minded and, I'm, I'm enjoying exploring, I think, so I watched a video uh, that Louise Pentland did on Alpha, on the Alpha course before I went, and I really resonate with her right now, that I have my belief and I have my faith and I'm really enjoying exploring, 
I've already been christened as a baby. There's just been a lot of love and encouragement and support with it, which is always really nice. And my friends haven't been sort of dismissive or, you know, made fun or anything, which, which is really nice because some people are, if some people go to their friends and say, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, you know, they might laugh or they might, you know, be like, oh, why? And I possibly could have been like that. I, I possibly would have been like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how, like, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just so pleased I made that decision and had the courage to go. So tonight is our final one. It's the 10th one. So it's been 10 weeks and we are having a Christmas dinner, which will be really, really lovely just to kind of close it all. There's a new alpha course starting in January, I believe. And it's obviously all over, is it the world? Um, I'm going to leave a link to Alpha if, in case you're interested. It's, I mean, you can go for the first session. If you don't like it, you don't have to go back. There'll be no follow-ups. No one's going to be like, why did you come back? You get a meal. Uh, you can chat to people and it's something to do. So at the very least, you know, you could give it a go. <clears throat> I've just found it so, so beneficial. And it's definitely one of the things that's contributed. I mean, I've said like this back end, the second half of this year has been a, the, has been the plot twist that I've been waiting for and that's definitely that's definitely part of it and you know along with other things you know oh what I was going to say was I so I've already been christened but I can you have a reconfirmation I can't remember there was a lady she was like you can get dunked if you want I was like mm. <laughs> but um yeah I'm really really enjoying it so I'm gonna hopefully go to the crib service on Christmas Eve and the Christingle service hopefully and try and get some of my family along so there's there's my little input about alpha um obviously i've i'll have put alpha in the title so if you really didn't want to hear any of that then that's absolutely fine i i completely get that people don't want religion shoved down their throats so <clears throat> that's just that I, ju I just wanted to get it out there wanted to put put my put my point across so yes well you're settled down for the for the moment aren't you right so before mum comes uh, we're we're I don't think we're gonna walk anymore. I don't know. It's just not a very nice day. I just need to finish a few bits off my to-do list and uh, go through some emails, check. I need to add a day to my calendar that's just Christmas shopping. Guys, I'm so behind. Normally, I'm done. Normally, they're all wrapped under the tree. And I was like, why has this happened? And it's Tom. <laughs> it's Tom. When I've got free time, I wanna see my Tom. And I wanna see my friends and my family. And now I'm just like, ah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a whole day Christmas shopping, probably online, aren't we? Aren't we? Because the shops are just mad rush. So we've got to do. I need to plan my calendar. Got to plan. I've got to sort some bits. It's just admin bits. I've just got to go and sit on my iMac basically. Um, we also need to do a food shop in a little while, don't we? Yeah, might do that with mum actually. She, do, we do enjoy. There's some great pleasure about walking around a supermarket. Like, I really, it's a, it's a guilty pleasure. I really like it. Oh, my throat hurts really bad. Righty. Also, has anyone actually ever become addicted to glycerin, lemon, and honey? Because I'm so here for glycerin, lemon, and honey. I'm like, yes, I can have it. It's the only upside to having a cold or sore throat. Have you done all your Christmas shopping? Have you? Are you finished? Have you done it though? Ah. I need someone else to be like, oh no, I haven't either. Don't panic. I'm getting, I'm getting press emails being like, Last minute Christmas shopping ideas. I'm like, last minute, what do you mean? Is it last minute? Oh, goodness me. Right, we'll see. Right, let's go and get some work done. Let's go and get some work done upstairs. Got to do our final uni assignment as well. Maybe not today for my last two. Are you ready? And I'm not bragging. I'm really not bragging because I've got extremely anxious and hard work, worked hard for it. My last two, I've got 100%. So I'm kind of like, it can only go downhill from here. My last hit, 100%, it's my average is 100. I mean, that's quite a lot to, not 98, not 99. I'm like, wow, wow. And again, again, I've, I've, I'm excited for my future and I'm excited and I can visualize it now. Before, I couldn't see a, vu a future, I couldn't see a purpose. I, I had this thing in my head, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna make it to blah anyway. Just, just things like that. And now I, I'm excited to be alive. As cringy as that sounds, I'm excited. Oh, good. Speaking of, speaking of the devil. Oh, he's my brother. 
um, okay, let's go and get some work and stop procrastinating in front of the Christmas tree, shall we? Yes. See, sometimes he's so mischievous and then sometimes he's just chill and happy to sit on my knee, aren't you? I might put some earrings in for tonight's dinner. Oh, maybe I wear a Christmas jumper or should I just stay in this? I don't know. Oh, when I first turned it on, the lighting was nice and now it's horrible again. Can I not put, a, oh, I can't put a light on when you're driving, can I? You can, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Was that just a, a facade? No, it is. I, I, I have to be extra careful so I don't like it on for too long. Okay. So, Mum and I were in the car for like two and a half hours. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Two hours. And uh, there was a huge traffic jam. I don't know what was going on. So it took us so long to get back home. So I didn't it's get- It's normally 20 minutes. It's normally 20 minutes. So I didn't get <clears throat> what I wanted to do done. Really, I got some of it done actually, but I could just move it to tomorrow. And um, I'm now on the way to my alpha Christmas meal, which I'm very excited for because it's a Christmas dinner. It's a roast. Don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm very excited. Dad kindly did the food shop for me on my behalf because there was no, there wouldn't have been any time. But um, I was going to show you the <clears throat> the Linda McCartney stuff that I really like, and I really like the pulled pork burgers, um, and then my favourite corn stuff. Yeah, the sausages and the burgers, I think they're really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, don't know if I'll film at this alpha meal, but do you know what they all watch? <laughs> so many of them are like, oh yes, yes, we, we researched you, we found you on there, on the YouTube. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so they're not gonna be too unfamiliar if I get a camera out, but we'll see, we'll see. Look at the lights on the front of the church. Like it's really effective. Obviously I saw it in the daytime the other day and I was like, oh, how's that gonna look? But it's really effective at night. My sister's uh, father-in-law put those up. <laughs> Righty, in I go. Oh. Wow. You don't have to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're filming. Anyway. I am, but you don't have to be quiet. I was just I gonna... Be <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Look, huh? I mean, oh, there is a joke. Sure, some of these jokes might be better than yours, mate. Oh, yeah. uh, do you know what? Do you know what my joke is? You'll never believe it. Go on. And what, like what is this? Yeah. Go on. It is what a, do you get a, a ruler with various shapes. Come oh, on, come my. On. Would you, would you <laughs> go on. Yes. Go on, ready? <laughs> I don't feel so much of a Joe now. Woohoo! Guys, I've already eaten a roll and a strawberry. Couldn't wait. It's fabulous. Who's in charge of the church on Christmas Day? Thank you, sir. Who made these? Um, are they just staying with me? <laughs> oh. oh, they're just staying here. Love it. Love that. Uh, no, I'd like to sing a lot of songs. And I am home. It is 11 past 10. What a wild night for myself. No, it's past my bedtime, gang. I'm tired. I am full of cold now. Like, I was just sat sat there, like, dribbling. I was just like, this is not appealing for anyone. In my jamas. Um, it was an absolutely lovely evening, it was the final alpha, such a lovely Christmas dinner and um, really really nice to just kind of sit and chat with everyone that we've made friends with and I have absolutely, we were just kind of reflecting on everything and I've absolutely loved going, I've absolutely loved it so much so that I want to go to the next course to sort of help and assist and serve, <laughs> if that makes sense, but I feel like I need to because anyone could watch the videos, they're all online, the alpha videos. Um, so I feel like I'm going to watch them all again. And obviously you're just not going to get the, the group discussions and the warmth and kindness of people and the kind of family feel. But I'm going to really miss going on a Wednesday and um, I've, I've just, I just can't explain, like I've just absolutely loved it. And it is a worldwide thing, sorry I need to just like sort out my life, my nose. <laughs> it is a worldwide thing um, and it's just, I've just so enjoyed it and I'm so grateful um, to Julie and who's my sister's mother-in-law for kind of giving me that sign that I needed. 
I just everyone's been so supportive about my decision to go and everyone there's so lovely and uh, there's a guy there, Richard. We just got the same wavelength, him and I. And uh, I feel like we we take from it what we will. Like it's we do it in our own way. Because there's obviously lots of things that I can't resonate with or don't quite uh, relate to. And it's the same with him. And it's kind of... We were just saying, like, we... We take from it what we will. We use bits. I can't think what phrase I want to go for here. Hmm, I can't think, but uh, I picked up a little, a little leaflet. It, this, I'm guessing it's the same uh, dates, but this is the on the back, it's specifically for my church, but it's in winter slash spring. So it's, there's an introductory call evening on the 30th of January, and it's always on a Wednesday. And then there's, it's from the 6th of February to the 10th of April, and it's just great, like, it's just really lovely. Okay, are you ready? Just quick, just quick. What's Alpha? Alpha is a series of interactive sessions that explore the basics of the Christian faith. Who is, Al who is Alpha for? Alpha is for anyone who's curious to explore the big questions of life, faith and meaning. The talks are designed to encourage conversation and explore the Christian faith in a friendly, open and informal environment. And it so was. It was so friendly. It was so warm. Like It was just like going into a big a room with, with friends and family and you just immediately just feel safe and loved and at peace. How does it work? Typically run over 11 weeks. No two alphas look the same, but generally they have three key things in common. Food talk and a discussion where you can share your thoughts there's no pressure and no follow-up and it's also free completely free uh it says some places may ask for a contribution towards food or you may want to just contribute so um, you know make a donation or something anyway <coughs> information down below if you're interested uh i've just i've just found it so helpful for me and it's become become really important to me anyway guys that's it for today i'm going to take my face off i'm going to inhale vic I'm going to drink glycerin, lemon and honey like it's from a hip flask. I'm going to stick an old soil stick up my nose because I'm not, I can't have a cold. I can't be like this. I'm singing in a couple days time a song from Fantasy of the Opera on the stage. Not that great if I've got a cold. Ugh, I'm just like bugged in this side, in this side of the nose. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today. I know today wasn't really a typical day. In my life but I just wanted to share that part of part of things with you I, as I said before I know some of you are going to completely dismiss this video really won't like it that's absolutely fine some people could still be skeptical I'm just exploring I'm just kind of you know looking at different different uh, ideas and things like that and yeah it's, it's just been a really it's a really exciting journey and it's nice and um, I've always been quite a spiritual person and it's just nice to explore different things. So yes, Rupert is flat out asleep. Yeah, Rupert was at, at Alpha tonight. It's just when my dad came and picked me up because they were looking after Rupert whilst I was there. Um, dad walked in with him because everyone makes such a fuss and they love Rupert and Rupert loves the fuss. So, um, oh, I'm being called by my man. Okay, uh, thanks for watching today and I will see you in the next Vlogmas video. Bye. Hello. Hello. You okay?